got this um, second hand tank to install. Um, got to move it over and back a bit, I think, and level it up. It's had an extension on this. Um, see now. This bit here from here to here is an extension <coughs> they've had done so they could put more milk in it. Um, that lid would have sat down here originally when it came out of the factory. I've got that moved over a bit. We want to go over a bit more. Doesn't want to come back any further, I don't think. Because you've got to allow it to work in there. And also when that lid comes up, it swings out. So you want to have enough room for you to get in there. But we want to come over a bit because we're right on the edge of that drain. We've got the thing balanced on jack, so what we can do is swing the jack round. That's brought that over. Move that a bit more. Um, if you want to over this way as far as possible, you've got to get enough room to get in there to be able to clean inside here, inside the milk tank. Somebody's got to get in the steps or something and scrub it once in a while. Um, it's got an automatic wash system that goes on that blue pipe. It's got a spinner on there. Um, I still need to clean um, once a week or once a fortnight. Right, we've got that levelled up now. Let's take all the legs out, all six legs, and um, clean the threads up. Um, the ones on the left hand side were quite rusty. Um, we've got two different lengths of leg here. The, the threads are the same length, but the actual um, steel bit here is longer on the right hand side. But luckily the floor slopes that way, so those ones aren't screwed in. <coughs> most of the way and these ones are out, out a bit further um, but yeah we had to take these out and um, the thread's quite coarse um, so I usually just run a um, hacksaw blade um, sit it in the threads and then put it off a bit of an angle and saw through it and that cuts all the um, rust and crap out of there and then we've um, put some copper grease over the threads <coughs> So we've got that squared up about 14 inches off of that wall, which is as tight as you want to go really, if you've got to get in there, be able to reach in here and scrub it with a brush. Um, a little bit more at the back, because um, you might put the tank washer down in this corner. So I might give enough room, hopefully the washer will fit there. Uh, well the washer will fit, but it might be a bit tight when the lid comes up. But um, Anyway, that's that. So we've got two copper coils fed off by two expansion valves. So we'll just teed um, solenoid. And then we've got two submersible water pumps in there to pump chill water around. They've got a spray rail along the bottom that fires up against the bottom of the tank where the milk goes. And then you've got a, like a ring all around the top here of the milk vessel with holes drilled in it to jet water on. And that, that runs chilled water down the outside wall of the tank um, and cools the milk on the inside. We'll run off these here, that should off automatic and manual for the milk cooling water and manual for the ice, ice building. And a two minute stir to ensure the milk's mixed up nice. So, if, the, if you want to take a milk sample or take some home for your cornflakes in the morning, it's all mixed up nicely. Back out here doing this tank. Um, got the pipe work right off there, off the back. We just joined it in about here. He needs a uh, cable tie and 
And then we've got to do the power yet. I might run a bit of conduit around up, up here and then run it over to the wall because I think the spark is going to put an isolator on the wall there. The pipe goes up, runs over the roof and uh, it sort of slopes down there so we have, we have to put a bit of a kink in it there. So it's come down the slope. Um, and then it comes out of the wall. Down the wall, and over, over onto the uh, unit there. That's um, what is it? L two hundred, two horsepower, old press gold unit. It's probably 35, 40 years old. Compressor's newer. It's been changed. fitting in there and we've got a tap in there so we can change the pump if we need to. Um, and we've got a contactor in there for the pump and that relay is to talk to the robot so when the robot says it's milking it'll um, bring the pumps on in the tank and also run the pump down. 